Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 in Durban, South Africa. We're very pleased to be joined in the studio today by David Wen, who is the chairman of the ITU Focus Group on Digital Fiat Currency. David, welcome to the studio. Hello. Let's start by talking about digital fiat currency. Perhaps you could talk about that and tell us a little bit about what it means. Um, we all know fiat currency, so that's the money uh, everyone uses today, uh, is the paper, and that's a unit of account. So in uh, South Africa is a rand, in the US is a dollar. So digital fiat currency is really the digitization of that currency, the unit of account. I think most people know now Bitcoin as a digital currency and so on. Uh, you have hundreds of those different uh, type of digital uh, uh, cryptocurrencies, and they are not unit of account. So people still measure them by how many dollars each of them have, and you buy them not to use it to pay other people, you use it to hold it. So that's a big difference. One is a central bank issued, digitized, unit account of the country, the other one is asset. In terms of financial inclusion, it's a topic that uh, IT has been engaged with for a number of years. Can digital uh, fiat currency or DFC contribute to financial inclusion? Can it benefit developing countries? Yes, the starting point actually of uh, the, the digital fiat currency and the companies that I'm involved with, e-currency, doing that is because we recognize the cash as a very good financial inclusion instrument before all the digitization happened. And what uh, we should do is to actually preserve the good financial inclusion property of the uh, fiat currency, that is the trust, and that is the low cost, uh, people don't pay for transacting, and the, the uh, inclusiveness, everybody accepts interoperability. So what we're trying to do is digitize that function using the new technology so that people can have very frictionless, trustworthy transaction using their mobile phones. That's what it is. Let's talk about the ITU focus group. How's its work progressing and what is it hoping to achieve? We started uh, the focus group last October and we have a first meeting in Beijing, uh, China and with uh, People's Bank of China uh, supporting and the many other central banks participating. Uh, after only nine months, uh, we were able to have our second meeting, a workshop with six central banks ranging from Philippine Central Bank, uh, where the cash is the king, and the mobile money is also used very um, much, and to Bank of Sweden, where the country doesn't have any cash, and they also wanted to make sure the central bank issue a digital fiat currency that benefits everyone. And of course, uh, People Bank of China, Egypt Central Bank, Bank of Canada, um, all were involved presenting use case. So it represents a spectrum of solutions for the member states to pick and choose which one works better for them. So has grown a lot, uh, the membership uh, for the focus group, and it's, uh, we will continue to do that. Okay, let's talk about ITU Telecom World. Why is it, it valuable to be here? Perhaps you could, uh, if you've got a message that you could uh, exchange, uh, you could give to participants here? I think one of the most important thing I noticed was when I walk into the exhibition hall, I see all the developing countries. Uh, unlike most of the other kind of show I see, just big brand companies. So I can realize Telecom World is really for the benefit of its member, member states, and I think digital fiat currency is one of the things that through the ITU can benefit all those member countries, especially developing countries. So Telecom World is a very good place for us to spread that message. David Wen, thank you very much. Thank you.